The University of Santo Tomas is a timeless legacy of a Dominican priest, Archbishop Miguel de Benavides. In accordance to his will in 1611, UST was founded to help the Church in her mission of evangelization. Initially located at the old Intramuros, the school was then known as Colegio de Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario. It later took the name of the Colegio de Santo Tomas, under the heavenly patronage of the great Dominican doctor and theologian, St. Thomas Aquinas, himself the perennial student and ardent teacher. In 1645, the college was raised to the status of a university by Pope Innocent X. This title placed UST among the ranks of high institutions of learning found in Europe. It also gave the Dominicans impetus to add courses to the school, like civil and canon law, medicine, and pharmacy. Through the centuries, UST was given distinction with titles that not only gave it the name, but raised the institution to recognition by rulers and popes. King Charles III of Spain bestowed upon it the title of Royal in 1785. Pope Leo XIII granted the title of Pontifical in 1902. And Pope Pius XII gave it the distinct honor of being called the Catholic University of the Philippines in 1947. Educational excellence has always been the mission of the university. In 1865, Queen Isabella II of Spain issued the Royal Decree, creating a system of secondary degree education in the Philippines. The system, direction, and supervision was entrusted to the University of Santo Tomas. By this edict, UST was branded the function similar to the present-day Department of Education, with a vision to reach out to more students. The university moved from Intramuros to the present site in 1927. The structure in the old Intramuros building used to hold the original portals is now known as the Arch of the Centuries. Great men and women, saints, heroes, doctors, great educators and leaders of our history walk through this historical landmark. UST's academic life has been interrupted only twice in 1898 to 1899 during the revolution against Spain and in 1942 to 1945 during the Japanese occupation. It was during World War II that UST suffered its biggest blow. The Intramuros campus was razed to the ground due to heavy bombings. At the same time, the España campus was turned into an Allied concentration camp where thousands of American and British residents in the Philippines were interned by the Japanese Imperial Army. Through man-made and natural upheavals, the University of Santo Tomas has again emerged triumphantly and has now grown into an institution fostering exemplary education, research, and community service. Today, students, faculty members, non-academic personnel and administrators all coexist in an atmosphere of collaboration for the country. The Catholic and humanistic precepts to teach freedom, a quality of love for fellow men and country, make Tomasians stewards of society and the environment. The university's claim to be historical is evidenced not only by its centuries of existence, but by its extensive holdings of both tangible and intangible heritage. The UST Museum of the Arts and Sciences has a vast and varied collection of artifacts and cultural items of great historical and educational value. It is the oldest existing museum in the country. The Miguel de Benavides Library, the Central Library, perhaps the biggest in the country, it boasts of an exceptional collection of rare books dating to early 1492. This building also houses the UST archives. It contains an organized repository of documents, principally but not exclusive to the history of the university. 
It was in this university where the first printing press in the country was established, probably the oldest in Asia. The present USD Publishing House is an offshoot of the old USD Press. His Holiness Pope Paul VI led the most distinguished roster of USD visitors in 1970. His Royal Highness King Juan Carlos I of Spain visited the university twice. Pope John Paul II also made two visits, the second on the occasion of World Youth Day in 1995. Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta also gave honor to the Tomasians when she came back for another visit in 1984. A continuous number of important dignitaries officially visit UST in recognition of the noble achievements of this institution. Older than the Philippine Republic, the university continues to respond to the changing times, transcending but still aware of its colonial roots. It gave way to the Filipinization of the school administration decades ago. Through this initiative, Monsignor Leonardo Legaspi was designated as the first Filipino rector of the university. It is also a known fact that UST has always taken an active stance in steering directions toward governmental reforms. Moving on to 2011, and true to its mission, the university continues to commit itself to the pursuit of truth and to the preservation, advancement, and transmission of knowledge. UST envisions to become a center of excellence in the various programs of teaching. It aims to be an acknowledged expert in the key areas of research in the pure and applied sciences. By this mission and vision, the University of Santo Tomas in 2011 will be reaching beyond Manila and networking with other institutions, not only in Asia, but through the rest of the world. The University of Santo Tomas, Philippines.